Hi, everyone. I guess it's three, so I guess I should say something. So, hi. Uh, I'm not going to be projecting anything. Um, the, uh, thank you all for coming. Golly, I didn't expect so many people. So, uh, please have a seat. Uh, in my, so my, my thinking of this event was that uh, we have 45 minutes or so where people, where I want people who want something new to work on in the project to talk just a little bit about themselves and what they are interested in in the project. Uh, and I'll explain that in a second. So there will be the, like, I'll call them mentees introductions. Uh, and my thinking is that uh, once the people who want something new to work on have spoken, the people, other people who have projects that those people could work on should just go talk to them and, uh, yeah, say hi and talk about some, some aspect of your project that they would find interesting. So um, uh, to do sort of a rehearsal of this, if I was one of the mentees and I said, uh, hi, my name is Ashish. One thing I know about Debian is that it's an all-free software operating system. One thing I like about Debian is that I've heard there's so many ways to contribute. One thing I want to learn more about is I want to have more experience running web services. If that was what the mentee had said, then I, uh, with my mentor hat on, as a different person, might have been taking a note, oh, Ashish, that person, wow, good luck, good. Uh, that person, uh, I should talk to them about working on mentors.debian.net since I want help from somebody maintaining that web service. And so then I would go talk to them after the intros happen. Is that like clear? Which this does mean that the, the mentors, the people who have tasks to offer people, should really be taking notes. Because if you're not, then you're going to forget by the end of this which person it was who seemed like they could help you. So hopefully you all believe that. OK, great. Uh, yeah, can I get a quick show of hands? Thing. La -dee da. Okay, great. Wow. Yeah, that definitely works. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, with that distinction in mind, where there's people who want new things to work on, uh, and there's people who have tasks to offer, uh, or people, uh, or yeah, I guess tasks to offer. I'll call those mentees and mentors. Can I get a show of hands for who here is a mentee who wants something new to work on in the project? But raise your hand for longer. Good. Okay. And uh, can I have all the mentee people switch to one side of the room? Which one has the most? I guess. <laughs> Sorry? They're more on that side. Yeah, that's true. But then there'll be more. Okay, right. So it put hands. There's more free space here. So come yeah, there's more free space here. So all the mentee people, please come to this side. And I know I'm disrupting you. Thank you for participating in my game. Uh, yeah, so I'll wait for you all to move. Yeah, yeah, this is the boff about finding minions. And uh, um, my vision of, of success for this boff will be uh, people on this side of the room will find something interesting to work on and then go work on it. And so like, if half an hour into this talk, everyone has left the room, that could be a success. It's not just that you hated it. So great. And then is it true that everyone here, except for the people who are still moving, so raise your hand if you're somebody who wants to find, who has a task to offer to other people. OK, so you all should go to that side. I don't know how you didn't figure that out before. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad that we've had, we've had this talk. I'm also shocked at the relative balance of these two groups. This is amazing. Uh, while people are moving, how many people here are first time DebConf attendees? 
First time attendees to DevConf. I got to raise my hand. Okay. Cool, yeah, great, a lot of people. That's lovely. Uh, and I also wasn't able to attend the, like, the intro sessions over the weekend. So if any of this repeats with that, you should let me know, I guess, uh, or complain or something. Uh, great, OK. Yeah, so what I, the way I'm imagining structuring this is that people here will say, uh, uh, I should write this on the chalkboard, because I'm not going to project. Is there chalk? Okay, great, thanks. Yeah, uh, maybe we won't need it, we'll see. But you'll, you'll state your name, and then one thing, uh, I want to keep this as brief as useful. So one thing you know about Debian, one thing you like about Debian, and one thing that you want to learn more about. And that the thing you want to learn more about doesn't have to be a thing within Debian you want to learn more about. It could be, another valid answer to this is, uh, one thing I know about the Debian project is that it has a lot of Perl code. One thing I like about Debian is that we're switching to systemd. And then uh, one thing I want to learn more about is uh, how, to, how to give good, how to communicate well to lots of people at once. Um, and so then obviously some systemd maintainer will be like, great, you're going to give a talk about systemd to some local Linux user group. And so the kinds of things that you might end up doing, I hope, I hope for this is advice for you all, the kinds of things that you recommend people do should be related to all three of the questions what they know about Debian, what they like about it, and what they want to learn more about in general in their lives or specifically within Debian. Uh, wow, I have chalk. This is great. So, sorry? <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, Whoa. I guess this is illegible because of that board. Uh. Yeah, and I should also say this is modeled after an activity that my friend Sean Lip did at an Open Hatch event about two years ago. So if he ever watches this video, thanks to Sean. Uh, so yeah, uh, and maybe I'll like pause after the first, f I'll pause after people in blocks of four in case the ravenous task, task offerers want to absorb you. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so why don't you start? and tell us your name, one thing you know about Debian, one thing you like about Debian, one thing you want to learn more about or improve at. Uh, my, my name is Tomasz Buchert. Microphone. Oh, wow, I guess. OK, sure. Yeah. I'm Tomasz. Press it until the green button comes on. Until the button on. Does that work now? No. One, two, OK, that works. Um, I'm Tomasz Buchert. I'm a Debian developer. I know something about Debian now. You have to say one thing you actually know. You have to uh, be specific. Stuff? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yes, one thing. <laughs> OK, uh, I, have a, my, uh, I have Stellarium, for example, as a package. OK. Um, what is that? That's the second thing. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, one thing you'd like about Debian. No, I mean the the second, not the first. <laughs> one thing you know about Debian. One thing. No, that's the first. Name. <laughs> one thing. No, it's it's, sec it's first. It says first. <laughs> no, but that's zero. <laughs> okay. The the one. <laughs> okay. Let me try this directly. Uh, what is your name? Tomasz Buchen. And what is one thing you know about Debian? It's awesome. <laughs> great, great. What is one specific thing you like about Debian? Uh, that is the best operating system. And what is one thing you want to get better at, either in general in your life I, or specifically yeah, within Debian? I, I, I guess I would like to improve the performance of the infrastructure. Uh, 
However, I didn't work on this yet. Yes. Cool. Great. Next person. Hello. Um, I'm Mike Chiro. I am not a Debian developer. I, I? I just had the opportunity to come here with uh, some DDs, and I'm interested in getting more involved in Debian. Wait, what's one thing you know about Debian? Oh, great. What's one thing I know about Debian? It's uh, got a lot of packages. What's one thing you like about Debian? That I can get the source whenever I want because it makes my job way easier. Um, and, and what's uh, one thing you want to learn more about or improve in yourself or in your Debian related activities? I guess I want to learn more how Debian works, really. <laughs> cool. And remind me your name. I forgot to write that down. Uh, Mike Juro. Mike Juro, thanks. Hi, yeah, what's your name? Is it on? OK. Uh, I'm Thomas Neubach. I'm Debian maintainer. Uh, I, I know that Debian has many, many architectures. Uh, I like ab about Debian that we have many policies and most of the stuff is described, so I can go to documentation. Uh, I would like to improve a little bit coordination of my packaging with other uh, packages which, uh, which are using my packages or which my packages are using. Out of curiosity, what packages are those? Uh, particularly PyCuda, PyOpenCL, so they both coordinate with Python, with NVIDIA drivers and other drivers with OpenCL, uh, uh, with OpenCL providers, so releasing uh, it's getting a little bit more complicated, especially as now there are changes in architectures. Cool, thanks. Thanks. Hi, my name is Dominik, I'm from Poland, and uh, I've been using Debian for like, I don't know, since 99, I guess. But I'm just a user. And What's one thing you know about Debian? Oh, do I have to answer all those questions? <laughs> yes. I, I know that experiment to work. I have to do it. I know that it's free and open, and see, yeah, I like it. I like, yeah, I like the idea. I like the community and everything. I mean, yeah. And what's one thing you want to get better at? I wanna, I wanna learn about uh, package maintaining and stuff. You know, like packaging. Cool. Yeah. At first, to see how it works, and so anything, any, anything. Great. Just yeah. Uh, I said I, I promised I would pause after the first four people uh, in case the ravenous task offerers found anyone that they wanted to latch on to. Uh, so if I'm lucky, the four of you will disappear from the room quickly. And if not, then we'll figure you out but with the end of everyone else. <laughs> um, anyone want to go grab anyone? Sure, yeah. What? Uh, I would need a big for that, of course. OK. So um, actually, my name is Andy Bart. Um, for those who had been to this room a bit earlier bef before lunch, uh, we, are we have a very large vacuum in, in the policy, uh, for the Debian policy package, which really means there are some more difficult tasks, there are some tasks where it's just necessary to implement uh, the policy documentation we already have. That means we have mostly patches which are approved, but somehow need to be fiddled into the Git tree. So that is a lot of, has to be a lot of to do with documentation, with making sure things are really as they should. Uh, an appropriate English understanding or language skills are helpful, but as you can hear, I'm not a native speaker, so it's not urgently required to be a native speaker. But of course, um, yeah, so about that. So if there's someone yeah. uh, of you who like to pick up one of these tasks, that would be great. Dominic, do you want to go disappear? with? Pardon? Well, Dominic. Speakers in some you, you must be a native speaker in some language, is what but he if, said. If, if hey, the, Dominic. For the policy, not necessarily. I have a question, which is do you want to just go hang out with him in a hack lab? Uh, not really, if it's about translating now. Because it's not about translating. It's a, we're speaking, I'm speaking about the Debian policy package. It's a, it's a, it's a package, or it's a, let's, it's a document which says if you have a, a Debian pack, uh, if you do a Debian package, what does your package need to follow? So we have something like 30, 40 bug reports saying this should be changed in the policy, which are approved but just not implemented. So we have patches which need to be applied, sometimes rejected, some other needs to be added, people need to be asked. So it's really some of the, let's say, the basic piece of Debian infrastructure, but there's a text file which is a basic thing. So if you have been in session before about this new maintainer process, all of this of, uh, of uh, policy, what is asked there, comes from the policy package. So I'm speaking about polishing that one. 
Yeah, yeah, I might have a look at that. Yeah, so. And I've seen, see, I see someone else has just raised hands. You two can just yeah. disappear into a hack lab if you want. Yeah, like, I that would be a success for me. But can I stay? Yeah, you can stay too, that's fine. Okay, okay so then I'll, go, I'll keep iterating over the group. Okay. So yeah, tell me your name. Uh, Kate Stewart. And, hi, Kate. Uh, hi. Uh, the one thing I know about Debian, it's the upstream for Ubuntu, where I've been active for a while. Um, what do I like about Debian is the actual social structures associated with it and the meritocracy aspect of it. Um, and what do I want to learn more about is the packaging and the policies and doing some packaging for some, pack from some projects I care about. Cool. Out of curiosity, what projects did, was it that you care about? Uh, Phosology got abandoned in 2012. Which program? Phosology. Phosol got oh, Phosology. And I'd like to see if we can get it in. And um, Cool. So looking for mentoring that way too. Great. OK. I'm David Yanjo. Uh, I like about Debian that it worked pretty well, nice before systemd also. And uh, one thing you know about Debian, one thing you like about Debian, we all swap the order. Yes. And then one thing you want to learn more about. I know that it's probably the most free operating system around. And I want to learn packaging. Cool. And is there anything in particular that motivates you to learn packaging? Mm, not yet. <laughs> OK, great. Say that, please. Oh, if you want. Okay. I guess he says so. <laughs> Uh, my name is Dieter Adriasos. I'm fairly new to this. Uh, I know that Debian is a Linux distribution. I like about it that it, uh, it's well, fully commu community-driven and well, so many people contribute uh, to make it work. Uh, what I want to learn, uh, well, I've been using Debian for f quite, quite a few years now and I'm more interested in how it all comes together. What, uh, how, how does a package get into the... Uh, to a stage where it, where it gets installed. And so, uh, there's one thing I saw already. There's this website, contributors.db.org. Which website? Contributors.db.org. Oh, that cool. organizes yeah. all the, I uh, gathers all the information about all contributions all over all the teams. So that's something I might be interested in. Cool. But I, I'm open to, uh, to more than that. Great. Hello. Um, I'm Guido Trotter Weverway. Ver, oh, vet camera, okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, mm, I, I don't think she's interested, to be honest, no. So one thing you know about Debian. Yes. Um, I know how Debian is great in um, infrastructures and as servers and uh, um, for virtualization and things like that. I like uh, how it's a great community that also evolves technologically very much over time. And uh, I want to improve and learn on the new sides like uh, systemd containers and like uh, uh, things that I haven't had a chance to touch or, have a, or that I have had a chance to touch a bit and uh, uh, maybe I can contribute too. Cool, thanks. Thank you. By the way, if you all are taking notes of people, you really should be. Okay, hi. Um, my name's Kyle. Um, I know about Debian that it's one of the older um, distros out there. Um, I also like how it's open both the code and the people. Um, it's really a great community. And I'd like to learn about packaging more multimedia um, software packages, maintaining them. Um, yeah. So what do you? <laughs> great. Uh, can I ask what you mean by multimedia packages? Like some examples or something? Um, so things like Voctomix, um, DV switch, more the video switching. Uh, <laughs> 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 great, great. Um, audio, audio editing, that kind of thing. Cool, thanks. Okay, um, I'm Sitelo. And uh, the one thing I know about Debian is that is that it, uh, it can run on many architectures. And uh, personally, I, I, I use it a lot on maybe the ARM architecture, which I think is cool. 
And uh, the one thing I like about Debian is, among others, the stability, general stability of the system. And then what I would like to learn, I would also like to learn some packaging and maybe developing as well. And say again? To become a developer cool. in the distant future. <laughs> Great. Yeah, if you have one introduction. Ask, like, in what microphone? microphone. I can repeat it if you want. Or yeah. here's a mic. Can we ask in what kind of areas would you like to package? Yeah. Because I'm sure a lot of us here do packaging, but we have like specialties. Um, I do have a lot. I'd like to, like, the scratch your own itch approach works well. So if you guys have anything that you don't like in Debian, I think it's the best way to get started. So maybe you don't like some packaging that is already done or you think there is software missing. This is where I would usually start if I was a new contributor at least. Okay. Uh, tell me, are there any specific areas you like packaging or you're interested in packaging? We're just um, learning about it as a, like, I guess what motivates you to learn about it? Is it just the coolness of Debian, or is it that there's some software you really want in Debian, or? Um, it's hard to say there's any software that maybe I don't like or I miss in Debian, because it does have quite a lot of software, and I've already mentioned that it's quite stable for my needs. I've, I can't even think what needs to be improved. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good it is. Um, <laughs> Okay, great, great. So, yeah, I probably, uh, I've, I've used one package that uh, I had to compile for, for one of the machines I used it on, and it looked like it was becoming an orphan package, but hmm. uh, I think the developer is here at the DevCon. That was, oh, no, 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 maybe not. That was OBD GPS logger. So maybe, hmm. maybe something similar to that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you can grab the mic. Hello. Um. Uh, my name is Andrew, and I'm a dev developer. And um, I came here because, uh, basically, since I gave up if I'm down last year, I don't have any specific bit of Debian to work on, I uh, just maintain a bunch of packages. You have to follow the program. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, things I like about Debian, things I know about Debian, okay, uh, things I know about Debian that I'm part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, what I like about Debian is in how some people already uh, mentioned the social structure around it. Um, so basically the people. and. Uh, What's the last thing? You uh, one thing you want to learn more about or improve uh, at, in yourself or yeah. Uh, so it. as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, I'd like to uh, not only maintain some packages mostly I use, and uh, but participate somehow in the development of Debian itself. Not only, I mean, I'd like to join some team, but uh, you know, because lots of things uh, happen in Debian, sort of in background. Like people work in teams already, and uh, you don't often know what exactly is going on. Um, so uh, it's not easy to join those teams, basically. Even if maybe I, I maybe I've got some experience or knowledge sufficient to work on some things, but I just it's not that visible enough. Cool. Thanks. Hello, my name is Kirtana. So one thing I know about Debian is that it's very robust and that's very good to use. One thing I like about Debian is the community because everybody is great, very supportive. <laughs> and one thing I'd like to learn, I think it's not one thing because there's a lot for me to learn. I'm very new and uh, I'd like to contribute and build a package one day that hopefully strengthens Debian. So. Cool. Hi. I'm Nico. Uh, something I know about Debian. Who? That one is tough. 
um, well, that it's extremely committed to being actual free software and uh, actually goes much beyond what other people do to enforce that. Uh, something I like about Debian is that I can basically run it anywhere and expect it not to break, unlike many other distros. And something I would like to help improve is, well, I would like to help make Stretch as uh, secure and as safe as possible out of the box for users out there. Cool. So I'm Chirayu from India. One thing I know about Debian is the vast abundance of packages that are available and that all of them are free software. And that is also a thing I like. Another thing which I liked is that I can hop onto IRC Debian Dash Mentors anytime and always find some help there. So wow. some of the things I want to learn are packaging. I'm already working on a few packages, but I'm just getting started. So there's a lot of things I don't know. So I'd like to learn more about packaging in general. Thank cool. you. Cool. Thanks. Um, I'm Jareth. Uh, a thing I know about Debian is that tar lives in slash bin, whereas in some other distributions it lives in slash user bin. <laughs> um, I know where said lives because I've had to fix this. Um, what I like about Debian is pretty much everything. Um, Things I want to improve. Wait, no, you have to be more, I will not accept that answer. You have to be more specific about what um, you like about Debian. One thing. You could say everything except this question. No, but. Uh. Something specific. Um, it's a good default for pretty much everything I do. Cool. Um, what I'm working on a lot at the moment is containers and clusters of containers and persistence and all sorts of uh, stuff that uses tools that have only existed for a year or two. Um, and I, I'm working on improving a lot of that stuff and I'd like to um, do some of that work in Debian. Cool. Hello, I'm Mesut. Uh, one thing I know about Debian is the it has great community, it's which I like, and it's constant about freedom and that diversity. Uh, one thing I want to improve, learn. Uh, I would like to. Uh, I, I haven't decided to where to start, which sub project to start with. Uh, I would like to decide on on a sub-project to uh, go deep intervals. And is there something that you want to learn, you know, with, you want, I, I know that you want to learn which sub-project is good for you in Debian, but also, what do you, is there something you want to learn more about uh, in general, in computing, or in your life, or some skill you want to be applying, or something like that? And do you mean by team, security team, maybe? I I, I can help or Oh okay, yeah, so like what kind of teams might yeah, what kind of skills or sub teams might be interesting? You said mentioned security maybe? I don't know. Yep. Cool. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh cool. So according to my plan, I was going to do these intros and then hope that you all would just like mingle and talk with each other. Uh, because I don't think passing the mic around is sustainable because we can have lots of one-to-one -one conversations. We can't have very many one-to-many conversations. Uh, but yeah, so bef before we transition, I'll take any questions. Everybody apart does not help mingling. Yeah, I know. So you'll have to get up and talk. That's like when, when the transition happens, you will abandon your computer, at least on this side, just move over to that side and stand around people and listen and talk to them. Uh, yeah? Wouldn't those guys have to say a few words about what they have to offer? Yeah, possibly, but they can tell you one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know, sure. Uh, who on this side wants to say at most 10 words about the thing, the thing you are interested in helping with or, thing, or like a task you're interested in offering or an aspect of Debian that they should talk with you about? 
I mean, a few words is great. Um, I currently maintain the printing stack in Debian. Oh, and uh, what's your name? Uh, did, sorry, Didier Rabou, I'm Odix in Debian. Um, I also have to answer these three silly questions. These three no, questions? Okay. you don't have to. <laughs> sorry. For they're, they're good questions. Um, I maintain the printing stack in Debian, um, which has the nice feature nowadays to be mostly up to date. So it's not a lot of packaging work, uh, but it's something on the midterm that I would like to hand over to someone else because I've soon had enough of that. Um, but I want to make a good transition, and I will keep maintaining it if if no one takes it. Um, and the other words I want to say about maintaining packages: a lot of you want to maintain packages and unfortunately Debian already has quite a lot and finding a good new package to put in the archive is quite hard nowadays because everything that we really need is already there. Um, but we have a good opportunity coming, that is the freeze, where we need people to fix bugs and fixing bugs in unrelated packages is a very, very good way to learn packages and to see how things are done across the archive and is a very, very good way to help Debian. Um, voila. But I don't have RC bugs in mind, so. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, yeah, there exists a concept of bug squashing parties where you people around your city will get together and uh, try to fix these release critical bugs that are preventing Debian from being released. Maybe we can have some of these people do that with some of you. Uh, after this, actually. Well, I see some nods, so that's pretty, pretty good, actually. Uh, anyone else on this side want to introduce yourself or a part of Debian you work on and have a task you want to offer? Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm Antonio Terceiro. I maintain Ruby, LXC, Vagrant, Chef, Redmine, jQuery, and lots of other things that I want people to help. So if you so you see that there's a lot of trendy stuff like Chef and Vagrant and uh, Redmine also is very useful, but I unfortunately don't use it myself anymore. So, and I have a couple of other packages. So if you want, want to uh, help maintaining those packages that are already there, is usually way better than trying to add a new package unless you actually use that new package yourself. Yeah. Uh, I saw some other hands here for people who wanted to talk about they wanted to, yeah, just hand it over to anyone, really. Oh, hey. Does it work? Yes, it does. Uh, hi, I'm Mehdi. Uh, before being elected as DPL, I was uh, in the OCaml team and we are looking for volunteers to do packaging work and testing the applications. So if you're interested in functional programming, uh, I'll be more than happy to monitor and uh, show you how OCaml is great. And if you're also into Python, I'm also looking for volunteers to do um, like web interface for newcomers to, see, to easily find new things to do in Debian. I don't know if you've heard about what can I do for Fedora, Fedora. And the project would be to do something like what I can I do for Debian, based on the same code, but adapting it for Debian. Cool, and I saw some other hand that people want to yeah. talk, yeah. So I maintain, I maintain oh, what's open, your name? open stack. I'm Thomas, uh, Zigo on IRC. I maintain all of OpenStack in Debian, and that's nearly 400 packages, and I need help. <laughs> Hi, uh, I... Hi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, I should probably be in on that side, because I think it... I don't really know whether it, that was just for... Uh, okay, well uh, then, you for may... For or also for newbies, because I'm a newbie to Deb Corner. So, anyways, my name is Shirish. Uh, I have been, uh, I was a Debian, no, I was a UN2 refugee to Debian about <laughs> seven. Well, you tell me, are you, are you looking for something to do or are you looking I'm looking offer? for something to do. Actually, Great. I'm supposed to be uh, doing the publicity stuff. 
Oh, okay. Well, you should answer these questions for me. Yeah. So, no, okay. So, one thing I know about Debian, it's, uh, it's solid and it saved me a lot of headache a lot of times. Uh, what I would like to work on is publicity, but unfortunately, I've just been overwhelmed by DevConf. Hmm. So, all my grand plans of covering DevConf just went for a toss, huge toss. And now I'm trying to see if I can somehow do something with that. Thank you. Uh, and what's one thing you like about Debian that I guess maybe you said, I forget? Actually, everything. I mean, uh, <laughs> just, the, uh, the, just the huge amount of uh, packages that I have. Hmm. I actually like is uh, there's a way that you can search for packages without, uh, you know, uh, without, with keywords. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I don't, I forget the command right now, but there's a way through which I can find that out. That I really love about it. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so you should go to that side, uh, and also you should leave the mic where you are and see if anyone else on your side wants to talk about tasks they can offer to people. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, your I know. Questions already? It doesn't work, right? Okay, it works. Um, and you're Thomas still. Yes. Okay, great. I did it, that didn't change at great. all. Okay, um, one of the packages that I have, and I'm upstream, uh, it's called Debocker. Anybody used it? No? Debocker. <clears throat> uh, it's, a, it's a small prog program to build packages, Debian packages, in Docker. Oh. Hence, Debocker. Uh, and it's like quite experimental. However, it's unstable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean experimental as a project, not as a working software. It actually works, <laughs> stay in a stable way. Uh, it, it's experimental because I, what I would like to do is to make contributions to Debian easier because I find them quite difficult to make. Like, for example, to provide a patch. Uh, that and test it yourself is actually quite difficult, I find, especially if you don't run Debian, uh, which is kind of like obvious, but maybe. But with Debocker, you can actually build packages on any system that runs Docker, right? So you could te theoretically contribute to Debian on, I guess, MacOS, right? Yeah. I think it runs there. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I have this small software, and I kind of. I'm thinking how to make it better if you are interested in that kind of stuff. And that could actually teach you how to package because it actually wraps around packaging and that, that kind of stuff. So, and if you like Docker, I, I, I don't know. Okay. Great. So that would be my. And we have um, one more on this side if you can. Uh, and there's, oh. there's Tobias. Uh, okay. um, hello. Uh, I am Alexandre. Uh, I am part of the Go packaging team where we maintain a lot of things that tools that play with containers, for example. Um, those are tools that are all relatively new and um, it's a new language, also a new language in Debian, which means we are very much behind in terms of all the libraries we have to get in. And so it's a, it's, it's a team that went for like, from like 100 to 400 packages in the last six months. And uh, we are relatively a uh, small amount of people. So uh, yeah, if you want to help, I'm sure you, you'll, like, you'll like it there. I'm also very much interested in configuration management tools and um, decentralized things. So like file, decentralized file sharing and communications. I do have some packages in that area if you're interested. So we have only five minutes left in the session. Um, I want to sort of role play what good requests are from the mentor side to the mentee side are just before we switch into that. Um, so a good request is, uh, hi person, you said you were interested in, in packaging tool, in fixing bugs in packages that you use. Bug number 749636 in cups is something where there's already a patch there and I just need someone to test it out. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do that. Great. And then you like go do that. Uh, and a bad one is, do you want to join the Cups packaging team? Sorry to pick on you, Cody Odigs. Uh, and then they'll be very confused in what, about what that entails, and then they'll wander off. Uh, so it's essential for you all to think about some specific tasks that match 
the, the people, the things that people have said here. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, you don't have to say a specific bug number, but you can be like, I'm sure there's a bug that you can test the patch for. And then you'll probably spend like three hours with them helping them set up pbuilder and so on. Uh, and that'll be actually good for everyone, even though it might seem like a long three hours. So with that said, uh, unless anything else, yeah, no, okay. Uh, I, I, what I want to do then is like stop videoing and switch to that like one-on-one -on -one chatting. So uh, yeah, one question or? Uh, I can, great. Thanks. It's up. So it's up. Nah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's green now. Okay, so uh, somebody mentioned that there are many packages already in Debian, but at the same time there are many orphan packages. So yes. So maybe somebody from people interested in packaging could adopt or take care of many, ma right. many packages without maintainers. Yeah, and along those lines, if one of you is willing to be so kind to the Debian project as to instead of promoting a specific thing you work on, but instead say, I want to help some people, I want to help, I found a random orphan package, do you want to adopt it, random mentee? They'll say yes, because they don't know any better. <laughs> and, uh, and they're not even wrong to, because it's a great learning experience. Uh, so, um, so, you know, the, the kinds of specific tasks that you offer people don't have to be in the sub-projects that you work on. They can be anything from Debian. You just have to get creative to meet their needs. Okay, so with that said, uh, I'm going to stop being microphoned, and uh, you all should stand up and swarm these people. And you all should start talking to them about specific tasks. And I'm going to turn off my mic. And I guess I can too. Thank you very much.